I'm gonna farewell for all modes. Are you gonna pay four, or do I get a draw card? What? Oh yeah, no. Vinny. <laughs> okay, you should pay next time. <laughs> I can't. Hey there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. We have a special version of Commander Melee for you today where we're each playing commanders from the Stranger Things secret lair. Real quick, if you want to show me and our team that you're enjoying our videos, that you want us to keep going, all you got to do is smash the like button. That's it. If you want to do more, you can subscribe if you want to keep seeing these videos and click the notification bell if you want to get the videos right when they come out. Remember though, we put out videos every Tuesday and Friday morning. Also, if you want to go a step further, you can use our affiliate links when you're buying all your cool stuff online. We have Dragon Shield for sleeves, our LGS Game Grid in Lehigh, TCG Player for everything else, and join the kingdom over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. All right, let's check out what our commanders are doing in the Upside Down. All right, uh, I'm John S. with Kingdoms. Uh, I'm playing Max the Daredevil and Dustin Gadget Genius. Um, Max wants to attack and untap creatures. Dustin wants to tap and add mana to cast an, uh, artifacts and activate them. Um, so this is a deck with uh, a bunch of fun artifact synergies and uh, looking to take advantage of that and uh, get ahead. Hey everyone, Julian here. Um, I am playing Mike the Dungeon Master and Will the Wise. Uh, since this is an Abzan deck, I'm just gonna be focusing on sacrificing stuff, um, mainly trying to sacrifice Will a whole bunch uh, so that I can just get a ton of clue tokens and uh, hopefully also get into some sacrifice combos and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm John M. I'm playing Eleven the Mage and Chief Jim Hopper. We're looking to investigate to get some clues. We got Academy Manufacturer to get some, get some token synergy out there. I'm playing this one with extra turns just to have enough time to cast all my spells. We're gonna possibly play Yogmoth's Will to recast my extra turns. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi there, my name is Jeffo. Uh, today I'm playing uh, Lucas the Sharpshooter and Will the Wise. With these colors, I'm not playing green, so this is similar to like a Brea deck. I'm trying to play some artifact combos as well. Uh, things like Thopter Assembly and Time Thief to either take infinite turns or even... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, you're shaking your head through me up. <laughs> uh... Julian and I came here to play Fair Magic. Yeah. What are these infinite <laughs> Julian's turns? Like, Julian's like, sure. Yogg Will. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, with just even just using Will and Lucas's uh, powers together to create uh, clues, then use Lucas to sacrifice the clues to start goading other people's creatures to, uh, you know, make the board be in my favor. Two, three, one. Oh. Kingdoms. Seven. Five. Five. Six. Booyah! Oh, yeah. <sighs> Perfectly average and yet successful. All right. All right. Turn one. Let's roll. Draw. I'll play a Slag Woods Bridge. <laughs> Pass the turn. Ooh. Artifact okay. land. Nice. All right. Draw for turn. I will play a basic forest. I'll pass. I will draw. I'll play Marsh Flats, and I will pay a life to search for a land. I will get Blood Crypt. Ooh. And I will shock in. I will tap for red and I will cast Mass Hysteria. All creatures oh. have haste. Oh, wow. All right. I will oh. then shuffle and pass. Okay. I feel weird about this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. All right. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a Swamp and then play a Disciple of the Vault. Go. Uh, you <laughs> going to attack? I'm attacking John. <laughs> I'm already at 37. Yep. That's the right thing to do. <laughs> All right. Untap, drop. I'll take note that that could have meant me. We, we all knew who it was for. <laughs> right. uh, I will crack and shock this here a polluted delta to go get a hallowed fountain. And then I am going to go ahead and cast a Ethereum Sculptor. Nice. Uh, Artifacts cost one less. And oh I boy. also will attack John. For one? Uh, yeah. Untap, upkeep, draw. We'll play a Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. Then I'm going to Rampant Growth Same. for a basic Plains. No, it's a Plains Forest. Go ahead, Joe. I'll untap and draw. Okay, I will play Command Tower. And then I will tap to cast Swift Foot Boots and pass. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. I will also play a Hollow Fountain into play untapped. And I will tap two and play a 
Will the Wise. Mm. Who would like to investigate? Yes. And if you don't, you will lose a life. Wait, what? Everyone investigates. For each of us that do investigate, he gets to investigate one extra. Uh huh. Yep. And if you don't, investigate, you don't investigate, you lose, you lose life. life. Oh. One life. Okay. Great. Yeah. Give me. Hit me. <laughs> you want a t- clue? Sure. You want a clue? Yeah. I believe in game two. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take four clues. <laughs> and go. All right. One swap teeth. I will crack for a steam vents. And I am going to pay three here for Joyra's Familiar. Okay. Stork spells cost one less. And I'm going to fly over a Jeff for two. And I am going to attack Julian for one. And go ahead. Okay. Just spreading Thumbs love. Up. Okay. I mean, I would attack you with all of it if I could. I'm going to sack my clue. <laughs> to draw. To draw. Is that a rampant growth? Oh, uh, man. That was, that was trying to hit a, hit a land. Yeah, that's what I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bummer. I will... Go to my end step. Have to discard. Oh no! Uh, yeah, let's throw away this fellow our guardian. I'll pass. Mm. I'll draw for turn. I'll play reliquary <laughs> tower. Does. I'll sack the clue as well to draw. Okay, I'll pass. Okay. I will on top. I will draw. Does disciple trigger off of us sacking sac- sac- stuff? It's just, just his and its target, right? No. Whenever an artifact is put into graveyard from play, you may have target opponent lose one life. I did not catch that, so it's a may. So I missed it. It's on me. Okay. Fair enough. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's a good catch. We will get that later on for you guys. Do not worry. Oh, oh yeah. Happy to is, help. That is trash. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Oh, I'll probably use it against people that are sacrificing their clues. Don't worry. <laughs> we are going to play Flood Strand. I'm going to crack it for one. It's a life. And I'm going to go get a Steam Vince, I believe. There it is. All right. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to pull in uh, Lucas the Sharpshooter. That is my turn. Go. Draw some card. I'm going to play Max. It's what does Max stork. do? I didn't read that one. Yeah. It's a 3-2 with haste whenever I cast my second spell each turn. Untap target creature and investigate. How are, how are you casting her for two minutes? Uh, Joy is familiar. Makes historic, historic. spells. Oh, almost. historic. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking gotcha. the same thing. I had, a, I had a, I the, got there. often gotcha. overlooked. Wait, Let's... are you going to go to combat? Are you going to go to combat? <laughs> yeah. You're going to go to combat. I'm going to tap Lucas, sacrifice a clue. So you deal a damage. Right? I'm going to deal a damage from the Disciple of the Vault to Julian. Okay. Me- and meanie face. I'm going to hit Max and go to it. Uh, okay. That's what it wants to do. Yeah. I just don't want it hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> four at John. Okay. Two in the air at Jeff. Yep. Okay. I can't block that. Yep. Um, second main, uh, cash money homie. Oh, boy. Academy manufacturer. The, the god of Stranger Things magic. Second spell, I will untap. Um, this has not resolved, however. So I will untap Joyer's Familiar and make another clue. Um, but it is not to go crazy because Academy Manufacturer is mm. not there yet. Yep. There you go. Good point. Manufacturer resolves. No yep. counter spells here, correct? All right. Sounds good. Should we go for it? Okay. Untap, upkeep, pray for a land. Oof. Well, we're going to play out this uh, Quizali Pride Mage. And uh, Ooh, you can attack for three if you want. Mass hysteria, it's terrifying. I didn't no, attack you, no, I, by I, the way. <laughs> I don't know if you remember I, that. No, 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 I, I was very cognizant before, of though. that. Yeah, no, uh, I'm going to hang back on defense, I think. That's a great call. I will pass the turn. I will draw for turn. Okay, I'll play Volcanic Island as my land for turn. I will cast 11, the mage. Whenever it attacks, I draw a card and I lose a life. Then if I have 11 or more cards, I can cast... An instant or sorcery from my hand without paying its costs. Right now I've got six. I'll actually, I'll attack Julian for three. I will draw a card and lose a life. I I hit him for one. Mana screwed, (laughs) just getting wrecked. I hit him for one. Pass turn. At least John's vaguely influenced by the board state. At the time he had the (laughs) highest life total, so I felt fair. Yeah. That was why I did it. (laughs) Untap. I feel fair. I'm going to play an Ancient Din. Ooh. Pretty. All right, I'm going to pay two and play a Talisman of Hierarchy. Nice. I'm going to pay two more and play a Felwar Stone. Nice. And then I'm going to misplay this and take a damage because I'm like that. I'm going to play a Thopter Foundry. Non-token artifact. Very good. I'm not attacking. Go. Untap. Drop. I'm going to cast a Meek Stone for free. Creatures with power three or greater, don't untap. It only affects me. It hits max, kind of. Pay two. 
<laughs> Four KCI. <laughs> and then I'll untap Joyer's Familiar. And then I will make a clue, food, and treasure. Okay. Okay. Let us go ahead and sack a food and two treasures. So three, Just for KCI? three artifacts to KCI. Okay. Uh -huh. How did you have two treasures? Three damage too. You said you were going to sacrifice two treasures. Oh, uh, my bad. He, he meant yeah, two, sorry. two clues. Two, uh, okay. two clues, one, one food. One food. No treasure. I like treasure. Three damage too. Okay, great. And I'll play a spine of Ishtar. Destroy target mm -hmm. permanent. And I'll hit Disciple. A vault. Let's sack spine to KCI, and it returns to my hand for two, and then I will sack a clue. So, so, so when it uh, when it goes to the graveyard, it goes to your hand yes. instead. Yeah, okay. when it's put in the graveyard from the battlefield, return it to its owner's hand to recast spine. Yeah, I mean on cast, I'm gonna blow up your K your KCI. Okay, sounds good. So second spine. Could have done that sooner, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I did. I did want that disciple gone. So I'll I'll hit Thopter Foundry and go to combat. John, I am going to attack you for two, two. and Jeff, I'll attack you for two, and Max is going to stay back because she won't untap. I will take two, yeah. and I will take two. Go ahead. Okay, untap, upkeep. I love you guys. I guess we will tap three for a thorough investigation. Um, whenever I attack, investigate. Whenever I sack a clue, venture into the dungeon. I will pass. I'll untap. Does not untap because of Meek Stone. Draw for turn. I will cast Jaliva, Nefalia's Scourge. ETB, each player exiles the top X cards of their library, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast it. So it's four. Watch this be four lands. One, two, no oh, lands. Four? Wow. Okay, thank you for doing that. Aww. You get instants and sorceries, is that correct? When she attacks, I may cast an instant of sorcery exiled with it without paying its mana cost. Do you care? So I got mana rocks. I hit Ashra's altar, which I'm really sad about. He's gonna get you get sword, instant so. Instant sorceries, yeah. Sword's what you care about. Set this here for you for later if you want it, if you get it. Cool. If not, Goodbye, the rest is Sahili. Exiled, the rest is exiled, right? Yep. Oh, my poor karmic guide. Your plan is ruined! Oh, you can <laughs> attack, can't you? I can attack, yeah. You can attack and you, Foiled. Can, you could sword um, something. Boom. Let's do it. I will attack John for one flying. John S. You could. I'll take one for us. You, you could permanently remove a, a manufacturer. Yeah, that's fair. I like it. Any objections, Julian? No. Uh, wait, Kay. you didn't ask me. I just <laughs> you're saying it just stops <laughs> the, the value train a little bit over there. Jaliva's trigger. I will cast swords for free, and then give me my life back. I will exile the manufacturer. All right, it's it's gone. Past turn. All right, my turn. I'm oh, going to. I should have done something. Oh well. Good. Good, sir. You destroy my stuff. Do not try to <laughs> pretend like you're the nice guy over there. I'm a nice guy. Maybe not the nice guy, but... I'm going to do this first. Uh, I'm going to attack you with Will. Me? Yeah, attack you. Okay. No box. Okay. Uh, Will Bars! <laughs> Will! That was actually a great choice. It's, it's, uh, yeah, that it's was very really impressive. Good. I'm actually like very impressed. I'm going to play on theme. I'm going to play a Hawkins National Laboratory. <gasps> Ooh, nice. nice. Investigate for four. Yeah, when you sacrifice three clues, I think it is. Uh, transforms into the upside down. Yeah, which nice. automatically resurrects a creature. From my graveyard. Not anyone's graveyard. Just my graveyard. Which is. Okay. Hey, not bad. Four. Four. That's what I want. I want okay. four. And then I will play a Smothering Tithe. And then when you play your manufacturer, we'll be in deep crap. Go. Untaps. And a draw. Pay two. <laughs> no. <laughs> Treasure for me. So it begins. Sea of Clouds, hi friends. Let's cast a Tezzeret the Seeker. And I'm going to minus two Tezzeret the Seeker. Go get an artifact mana value of two or less in case I don't know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Does it go to your hand or the battlefield? Battlefield. The battlefield. Immediately on the field. Oh, man. That's nice. Oh, I'm actually going to get a Steel Overseer. There you go. Mm. I'm going to move to my combat step, and I'm going to attack Jeff mm -hmm. for two, John for one. Okay. I'll take the one. I'll I'm going to do the thing and make it one more each. Three. So the bird doesn't attack. I'm going to sack my treasure and cast swords to plowshares on... Sure, I'll hit Lucas. And I'm going to untap the burn axe okay. and investigate. Go ahead. Okay, untap, upkeep. Come on, we got rid of four things of garbage. 
<laughs> Tap three for a Yavamaya Granger. Uh, when it comes to play, search for uh, basic land, put on tapped. I'm going to grab a swamp, and I will pass oh, the turn. By the way, did you pay two for... No. See, Julian, we're on the fast side oh. of the board. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I will untap. Does not. Draw for turn. Pay two. Can I have a treasure? Thank you. I will two. play Tundra for turn. I will cast Exquisite Blood. Whenever my opponents take damage, I gain that much life. I'll poke Julian for one. And you'll gain one. Pass turn. End of your turn, I will pay two to sacrifice a clue. A clue, a clue. And draw a card. Uh, my turn, I will untap. I will draw. I will start off by playing a Godless Shrine and tap and taking two. John, do you gain two from that? Play Sweet. one blue to play out a Thought Monitor mm. and draw two cards. Nice. You going to pay for those or? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> pay two. And I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to play Diabolic Intent and sacrifice <gasps> Will. That's going to go there. Will trigger. Will's left the battlefield by putting Will in my graveyard. Okay. Okay. Would you like a clue? Clue me. Would you like a clue? I need to hit my lands. Would you like I a clue? I will take a clue, yeah. So that means I get one, two, three, four clues. To which I will play one and this. I play Time Thief. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Let's go. Okay, so we're yeah, going to we're gonna do Time Thief uh, okay. and sacrifice five. So it'll be five clues. Mike's turn, I will, I will take it to another turn after this one. At this point, I will pay two, well, sorry, just one. And I will play out a Chromatic Sphere as well. Then I will go to my instep, which will then trigger Hawkins National Laboratory. Mm -hmm. All right. And we will go to the Upside Down, which appropriately fitting, by the way, will take in Will Byers, pull him back into the battlefield, and we'll trigger Will again. Who wants to get a clue? Clue anyone? Loss of life, loss of life. I'll lose a life, but then I gain two from you guys, so. Yeah, yep. I gain a okay. life off of that. So I only get one clue. Thank you, guys. That's all I want. I will go to my next turn. When the creature put onto the battlefield with the upside down leaves the battlefield, transform the upside down. Okay. Yes. That's on theme. That's on theme. Untap, upkeeps, draws. We'll play Sword of the Meek. Whenever a 1-1 one -one oh. comes into play, you may return that. If he gets stopped. Or, or if he creature. gets stopped or foundry back, then... I can do stuff. Then he can take all the turns and attack with oh, the infinite the turns. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. I will also play my land for turn, which is a Xander's land untapped. And I am now... Time Steve and Smothering Tithe pair really well together. I'll start by tapping one uh, white, using that factors the Chromatic Sphere into draw card. Making white? Making white. And we will tap a Godless Shrine and use the one white from the Chromatic Sphere to sacrifice a clue to draw a card. I will take Will and attack Tezzeret. You can't... Do that. Ooh, he went there. Oh, you big meanie head. <laughs> it's just one, though. Your Tez still lives. Yeah, yeah, but I need Tez on two. Nice play, Jeff. Nice play. You can block. <laughs> <laughs> Tez are at to one. I will sacrifice five. One, two, three, four, five. To take another turn after this one. And I will go to my next turn. I'll draw. Oh, yes. No! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I will first play Vault of Champions, and thank you all for being my opponents. Happy to help. I will tap a Hall Fountain for blue and play out a fish. Oh, my gosh. I will also run the risk of seeing what happens here. Uh, I'll take Will <laughs> and uh, <laughs> attack Tazred again. Yeah, I have to block. Do you? I do. You really, I, really have to block. I really have to block. <laughs> this is one of okay. those crux moments where I have to block. If I, he doesn't, and are, Jeff wins right, the game. Let me, let me rephrase this. Can you deal with his whole board if I don't block? No. Great. Block. <laughs> uh, That's a fair question. Will will die and leave the battlefield. Yeah. I'll trigger again yeah. uh, for clues. Clues, anyone? I'll gain, I'll lose one and then gain two. I will get a clue. Back to the lab. Back to the lab, you yeah. know. I actually can't do anything is the problem really because I don't have three clues, so Can I can't bring back go. Will. Go. All right. Pay no. two? You get, nope. to see, you, get, you get to see the card first before. Martial arts. Dead Tezzeret. Dead Tezzeret. Minus one. Soul ring? Yeah. <laughs> it's soul ring going to go to combat. It's all Stick coming at you. These up. Jeff. It's all coming at me? It's all coming at you. How rude. It looks like three, three, and two. Seven. Yeah, I'll throw the thought matter in front of the, the familiar. All right, we're gonna do the thing. So I'll take three, three six. six. Yep. And you will gain six. I'm gonna farewell for all modes. I need to pay four. Or do I get a draw card? What? Oh yeah, no. Fiji. 
Yeah, you should pay next time. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh wow. Go ahead, Julie. I'm gonna crack yep. my land in sadness for Untap. a triumph. Upkeep. I am going to. Uh, uh, would you like to pay your echo cost? Uh, no, I would not actually. While that's on a stack, I think I'm gonna village rights it. Nice. Sack it. Draw nice. two cards. Are uh, you gonna pay four for that? I am not. I will draw a card. I'll draw I'll two cards, two. and then. Oh, uh, you drew two cards. I drew, yeah. I drew two yeah. cards, uh, and I'm two. and I'm about to. You're gonna pay for that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you're gonna pay for the not, your current draw as well, or no? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna draw it first and then okay. decide. <laughs> you, you can do that. You're good. Okay, that. I will draw. I'll pay for that for that final draw. Oh, okay. I guess Ooh. play a land for turn for the first time in. All right, he ages. made it. Long time. I'll have to discard if I don't do this. So I'm gonna. Throw it out of the thorn bite staff. Pass. Uh, pass. You're going to pay four for that. Oh, I forgot about the fish. Yeah, he's got ah, fish. Crap. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I already did it. So, totally forgot about the fish. I will untap for turn. Draw. It's I'll five. I'll cast double vision. And, and then what? And then pass the turn. No! Are <laughs> uh, you going to pay four for that, by the way? Or did you? Oh, no, I did not. I haven't seen any of my engines at all. Yeah, I, I just Nothing. finally got past three lands. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the end of your turn, I will pay four and tap the laboratory to create a clue. And then it's my turn. I will untap. And on upkeep, I have to pay five, correct? I believe so. Yep. It's a May. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfortunately really not. <laughs> you also have to choose uh, one, to keep two, fish around or not. Three, four. Yeah, I'll, I will keep fish too because it's only at one. So this is for fish. And this is my five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's my upkeep. And then I will take another turn. draw. I will play out that planes, which is actually perfect. And then I will pay four and create another clue. And then I will time save and sacrifice these to so take an extra turn after this one. And then we will go to my end step, which will trigger the upside down. Going upside down again. Which will get me a will back. Back to the lab again. Huh? All right, yep. <clears throat> Ouch. I like You're clues. a monster. I like, <laughs> I like the clues. It's really nice You're to have a clues. Monster. So then I go to my next turn. My it's, extra turn. It's on tap. Bad. Fish. Uh, I will tap these two planes for the fish because we're up two. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's do tap these two to play an Oni Cult Anvil. Whenever one of our artifacts uh, leave the battlefield during my turn, um, create a 1-1 one, one Colors Construct token. This trigger ability only triggers once, and then I can also use it to tap it and sacrifice an artifact and deals one damage to each opponent, and I gain one life. And we'll tap these two to play out a Phantasmal image, selecting Will the Wise. <laughs> um, which will two things will happen is a end of the battlefield will trigger for will. Yep. And the which will go on the stack, but then state bank action will happen and yeah. will will go and it will sacrifice the real will. So we do it again. So I take two. Mm hmm. Yep. And then John, you're going to gain two. Yep. And I get two clues. And uh, Hawkins re switches back over because so, hold on. Anytime I sacrifice an artifact, I get a construct here, which on top of that brings back my sword. Oh! oh. Which then I can sacrifice the construct and the sword every turn, plus clues. I don't know if I have enough clues to keep flipping the Hawkins Natural Laboratory, as I think where I'm actually light. You should stop paying for fish. I will stop paying for fish. But Which I can pay for right now, get that still back out, and get another clue this turn still, too. Yeah, yeah, be, be, because on each of your turns, you're going to be able to tap that before. That's going to be the third make, clue. Cause yeah. it, even it, if you get Thopter Construct going, you do need... Convoluted artifact wind lines need, is the goal. This you deck. do need three clues. So what are your? What's your? Your plan is to just continue to draw for turn and to, and take all the turns, and then like how are you gonna kill us? How do we die? Oh, so I can kill you two because I can drain you guys constantly by creating yeah, clues. So yeah. you two can die. Once you two die, actually, I can then drain John because he, there, you're not feeding his life anymore. That's true. That's true. Plus, plus, I will literally just drop my deck eventually by taking turns. Will keeps coming back from the graveyard with the laboratory, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think you've got it. Yeah. I think he's got it. So we're gonna play one loop of it just to kind of demonstrate how this goes, though. So Will's back there. I'm gonna pay four and create a clue, but I will then take this and I will sacrifice these three clues 
And this treasure. I would sacrifice the extra clue. Yeah, you're going to get three every time anyway. Okay, I'll sacrifice the extra clue this time. So I'll sacrifice and those five. Okay. You and get then construct with plus sword. I get construct and a sword. So my sword will go back and I don't have a construct token. But we'll use this one right here. It's a thopter. Close enough. And I attach to the creature. So that goes back though too. So I get those two back every turn. Then at my end of my turn now, I will flip this to create the upside down, bringing in a will. Oh, no, no, you only take one. Just one. No. You oh, just take one just right one. now. It's one. And well, then when he comes yeah. in, though, I will sacrifice him, I guess, to your point. Yeah. It'll do that, though. This will then flip this back over and do the thing go again. to my next turn now. Yep. And then we'll do that. And I will have created two clues from that, by the way, from you guys. Mm -hmm. And I'll go to my next turn now. I will untap everything. I will stop paying for fish because that's a waste of. Because if I just take turns, I can just draw cards and I'll draw a card. And then. Tap four, make a yeah. clue. So at some point. So I now have three clues again. I have yep. the Thopter and the sword back out. I can now sacrifice these. At some point, we're going to be dead. Which will then we'll recreate these, by the way. And there we go. And John will be. So John will go up 22. So And then he'll be at zero net for Julian's death. So John's at 64. And then I'll drain John down. And then you'll drain John the rest of the way. Game. Two. I will draw for turn. I will play Ancient Tomb. I will tap for two and take two damage. And I will cast yeah. Swift Foot Boots. Pass. What? Last night there was a sort of animus that did a lot of work. And oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it was very uh, John-esque. I will play an Ancient Den. Ugh. Go. Rejuvenating Springs. Go ahead. Draw. Do it while I still have Catacombs. Uh, sack. I'm gonna get the Triome and pass. Draw for turn. Okay, Sometime. I'll play Volcanic Island. Uh, my name's John and I play really good things. I do play really good things. Ragavan. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Should have just dashed him. Uh, I'm taking it anyway, so I'll attack John for two. What? You yeah. are a monster! Woo! Oh, I'm glad gone I was gone. I was like, gone. I gone. cast it. But, but you get a treasure. Yep, we get a treasure. My turn? Yep, pass turn. All right, draw. All right, I'm going to play a Pludil to Delta and crack it. And I said that fun. I will be getting a watery grave as soon as I can find one. Watery grave to play untapped. And as I'm shuffling oh, here, two. bring in a will. Oh, yeah. Three? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you don't want clues? No. Clues, 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 people? I'll take the clue. Sweet. I will as well because it's early. Sweet. It's probably the best time to take it, actually, if you ask me, because it's not like I can... I mean, there's I no can... time sieve out there. No, there's no. Not yet. Yeah. Give it time. Sorry. Um, couldn't help it. Yeah, you can go. Planes and a talisman of progress. And go ahead. Draw for turn. Command tower. Tri builder. Pass. Nice. Hi, Steve. I wish it was real Steve, though. Steve the babysitter. I will draw Steve for turn. Steve the babysitter. No, you have no idea. I want it so bad. I want a Steve the Babysitter card. Dustin and Steve just like... Dustin and Steve. Their their friendship is like true friendship forever. I will play Urborg. Oh, Tap for red. That's actually helpful. Sack for white. I will take two. I will cast Chief Jim Hopper. I'll tap Urborg for black. Do the I'll thing. put the boots on the gym. Yeah. I'll go to combat and I'll throw the Chief at Jeff and I'll throw Ragavan at John. Stop it. Spectator seating. Uh, I will John take the four one. Needed that. Wait, that's okay. not four. I think that's four. When he attacks, investigate once for each non-token attacking creature. So I get two Those clues. Pass turn. Monsters. Right. But On tap. Draw. Fair magic. We knew this going in. Yep. That's all we're trying to play here. I will play a mountain. Have never seen evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> We've been playing for a year and a half together. I'm hold, still on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, just, sorry. Just I need to. I created a treasure as well from Ragavan. I'm going to pay two. I will play a Lucas. And then I will... Pay a zero and a mox amber and tap the mox amber and that to play out a blade of selves. Really? Oh my gosh. Really? Do you know where the blade of selves is going to go? I do. That's, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's going to go on Castle Byers over there. <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> That should be oh another man. card. I... Yeah. It's a great land. Go. I mean, if the witch's cottage is a land, Castle Byers could be a land. Man of Confluence, Foundry Inspector. Artifacts cost one less. Pay one for a thought vessel. Go ahead. I'm going to sack the Steve. 
Grab a uh, first thing I find. Of course. You got a bunch of five color lands. Okay, untap. Keep draw. I will go ahead and play my commander. Yes. Um, I can tap this for just a black without paying life. I will get Mike out there. Choose target creature card in your graveyard that was put there this turn and return to the battlefield tapped. That's not yes. a combo card. Like no, that. not at all. Pester. <laughs> okay, I'll untap, then I'll draw for turn. Let's go to combat. I'll actually, I'll throw a Ragavan at Julian, and then I'll throw the Chief at John. I will take the two Enlightened Tutor. Ooh. That's one you can cast. I can cast that one. I will <laughs> use the treasure that I got from Ragavan and cast that. Okay. And you get two more treasures, or clues. So you cast it, so it's going in my graveyard, right? Mm -hmm. So Academy of Half Manufacturer, I think it's what he's going for. Because yep. he can. That's um, what it is. Chuffle, chuffle. Then it goes on top. Just put this over here. That guy goes on top. I'll play Vault of the Archangel as my land for turn. Two. Sack a clue. Draw a card. And I will cast Academy Manufacturer. Well, on the plus side, he's not creating him this turn, at least, though. Yep. Pass turn. On tap. <laughs> I was like, I probably should have sacked the treasure and moved the boots over to him. I will uh, play mm. Planes. That's going to come back to haunt me. I will equip the Blade of Cells to a Will the Wise. And then I will go to attacks and attack John. I'll cast Deadly Relic and exile him. Yo! Bro! No, you don't. An offer you can't refuse. Yeah. But he just gets a bunch of stuff. I create oh. two treasure from that. Oh my gosh. That's a fair trade, I guess. All right, so you're getting two of everything. You're I get getting two, two treasures, clues, two, two treasures, two food. Julian, what, what did we do? You create more clues, by the way, with my, my new wills that are coming in. We're just over here trying to play fair magic. I have new wills under the battlefield, by the way. So you could get more, by the way. <laughs> that is tempting. It's all treasures. It's all about the treasures, man. So wills into the battlefield. So the first will on the stack, do you want a clue? Not yet. Clue. One. Clue. I'll take a clue. Smart just because it comes with benefits. I will take two clues. Uh, my second will. Clue. No. Clue. Clue. Same. Take two more clues. What the heck is going on? Um, so I'm attacking both of you with these wills, and I'm attacking John with this will. Are uh, you tapped out for me? No, I'm tapped out. Okay, then I will block with the manufacturer. Block. Okay. Cool. Doesn't the state-based action happen the moment that they come oh, out? Oh, yeah, though? yeah. They don't get to attack. Oh. They die immediately. Oh, they die immediately. Okay, never mind. It still does what you want it still to does do. what I want, though. So yeah. I get my triggers, though. But yeah, the so real will is blocked. Yeah, the will real real will's blocked. blocked. So, I, so took, I took two. Or I took damage. I took I took two as well. I took two. So you took four total. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'll create two more. I will create. There's four no more. hope. There's no way out. You I just it. I just nibbled him like beyond all belief though. I said nibbled. Thing. I was very concerned. <laughs> nibbled. And that's my turn. Go. It's the treasures that they're gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> the manufacturer is. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's the only reason why I took those. I should have done this. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad person. I'm a bad person. <laughs> All right, well, here I am doing just derpy stuff. Lose one for a confluence. I'm going to cast uh, Adrix and Nev Twin Casters. Nice one. What does that do? Um, if an effect would make a token under my control, you get twice that many. Oh, great. And he has Ward 2. Go ahead. Yeah, upkeep, draw. We're going to do this. Uh, Masaryk Crawl Death Priest. Ooh. Whenever a player sacks a permanent, put a 1 1 counter on each creature I control. Oh, snap. yes. <laughs> You do oh, want to do you want to sacrifice stuff before while well, that's on the stack? Let's sack six treasure and then three clues. Three clues. And I'll draw three cards. You don't want to give all of his creatures plus nine plus nine I'm, casually. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, I, I'm done. I'll pass turn. Okay, untap and I'll draw for turn. I will play Scrubland as my land for turn. Okay, let's do combat first. Going to combat. I'm gonna trigger will sacrifice a clue. Ragavan. Ragavan. And no. Ragavan. Manufacture. Kill Ragavan. Manufacture. Uh, trigger. Okay. I'm gonna put a counter on both of these. Okay, so I just, thought uh, about Ragavan. Manufacturer is goaded. Okay. Manufacturer is goaded. And goated. with one damage on it too. I'll throw the manufacturer at John. Ragavan goes at Jeff, and then Hopper goes at Julian. Mm -hmm. I take two. Block the foundry inspector on the other guy. A construct on assembly worker. It's constructs Julian on over assembly board. workers. Okay. I take my two and I flip right. Or, well, I got treasure and everything else. And everything else. And you'll also get. Yeah, you're gonna get three of everything, right? Three more of everything too. Okay. The wait for what? Oh, <laughs> hoppers. On hoppers attack hoppers trigger. Attack. Okay. Yeah. So three, four, five. It just got really bad, guys. KCI. Okay. okay. Dies. Dies. Okay. And exile for play. Oh man. 
I'll take four for if that. If I had hit that, that would have changed my game entirely. Sure. So. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yep. I will cast Cart Clan Ironworks. Taking two. I will take two. Thank you. You're a monster and a bad person. <laughs> oh, I'm a very bad person. <laughs> You're a bad man. Oh, it gets worse. Dockside Extortionist? I, I can't sacrifice mine. <laughs> yep. I've, I've got one. Oh, boy. I've got... 16, 17. 17. Of everything. No, just treasures. Oh, good. So 17. See, see what I, I did? Kind of. 6, 12... We'll, we'll, we'll just, yeah, we'll do it by draw. Sorry. So, we, we, so, you can so do you're a putting lot that down the three? I'll just, I'll move it as he goes. Okay. So, yeah. Sack of food for two to Clark Clan to sacrifice I'll, just, I'll keep track here so we know this is what's going on. Okay. okay. And clue, clue goes, goes down. Yeah. yeah. Clue goes down. So, low. you get two, he gets a card. Every time he gets a card, you get two counters on all your stuff. Okay. Same thing. We'll do again. So, two counters each time. Mm -hmm. We'll go again. This is not working. We'll go again. Hey, it's working great. Okay. We'll go again. Go again. Dude, seriously. It's the worst time to get all my land. Okay, go again. Good. <laughs> okay, I will sack two treasure, two Clark clan, three. So that's four and then two more. For color. For two white, I'll cast Sun Titan. Returning, Sunny T. Returning the manufacturer to play. Oh boy. Okay, let's go again. Draw again. Dos mas. Okay, we'll go again. Okay, how many we got left? You got one food left to go. One food left. Okay, let's do it again. Food's gone. You're out of food! You're down to one clue. One clue and a bunch of treasure. Okay. Oh, did you just sack something else? No, he just made No, oh, I just oh, okay. reallocated. Sorry. Dice management. Okay, I'll sack two treasure. I'll cast Baleful Strix. So I can actually block Mazarek. I'll draw a card. Now I already played a land for turn. Bummer. Yep. No, he could just play his commander, which then makes it 11. And It's true. That's what's coming next. Four treasure sacrifice. Oh, four? Wow, I'm almost out of dice. My <laughs> sand size is 11. I'll sack a treasure. treasure. Yeah, I, a treasure for two to sack a clue to draw a card. So two more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are, there, are there cards under Julian's there? gonna give a menace. That'd be so funny. Are we to discarding? I think I'm to the discarding part, so. We survived. <laughs> I mean, in fairness. And I like, will discard. This is a deck where you do play, like, Goto. Okay. okay. Reliquary <laughs> Tower. <laughs> Bloodstained Meyer, Arid Mesa, Morphic Fool, and Godless Shrine, and Good. pass. My turn! Yeah, no. Island Wait, first. What? Island first. <laughs> Island first. I think we're going to play it. There is an Urborg out. I know. That makes it easy to play. Oh. Oh. Don't do what I did and have four straight land on the top of your deck when you play that. I mean, he also can just uh, tend somebody. Pretty that easy. is also true. Oh, well, yeah, but that's each not enough. Is that each opponent? It's like it's no, it's each, it's each. Each? Yeah, each opponent like, loses 10. Yeah. Oh, man. We gotta play life, right? Uh huh. Three. Gross. Two. Greatness at any cost. I'm gonna sacrifice Lucas to Ashnods. Ashnods to draw. I'm gonna do this too. Selecting Dockside Extortionist. Oh man. You can sack all your treasures in response. How about I sack two treasures and I will mana drain that. That two spell that gets you a ton you of mana. Your counters. And I'll keep that up top for an upkeep. I should have looked at my top of my deck. Is what I'm saying. Uh, okay, but so you can't. Well, you can't do it until it's on the stack, though. You don't have a new card on top until you've cast Phantasmal Image. I know I cast Phantasmal Image. Right. So he counters. He goes okay, to counter. Do you have oh, a response oh, to the and, counter? And I can respond from the top still. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's you what can. I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, we yeah. haven't done anything different from there. That's what I'm saying. I can respond with this. It's so fierce, man. Which will lose me three. And instead, I will get the the Phantasmal Image. I'm going to Narset's Reversal it, though. Uh, sacrifice. So I'm going to copy your Fierce Guardianship and counter it. Okay. Are you sacking two more treasures to do that? Yep. Okay, I need more dice. <laughs> Wait, that's a bad plan. Oh, that is a bad plan, because then he could just recast it. Narset's the Reversal the Mana Drain back to your hand and then recast the Mana yeah. Drain. Yeah. Because he has a commander. Oh, that's true, because it's still on the stack. So. Well, and he yeah. has his commander out. So I will Narset's Reversal exactly. can... Mana Drain. Okay. Let's yeah. do that. Uh, okay, and then, and then you have to spend two more mana to actually cast that Mana Drain. Yes. Yeah. You have to use two more treasures. Oh, okay. Just to be clear. Yeah, okay. Phantasmal Image goes. Mana Drain, Fierce Guardianship, Phantasm Narsets for Soul. Targets Mana Drain. So, so you copy the Mana Drain. The copy is targeting which, Fierce no, no, Guardianship. The copy is going to target. No, 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 no. The copy should still target Phantasmal Image. Phantasmal Image. Because that's okay. a different target than it's what a, yeah. Fierce was targeting. Oh, there mm -hmm. you so go. So that way yeah. you end with Fierce Guardianship back in your hand. The copy still or, targets. No, I don't. I don't. You mean manager? Yeah, manager yeah, goes back to your hand. Manager, yeah. manager, manager, manager goes back to your hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. and fierce yeah. guardianship fizzles because it has no legal. Correct. Target. Yeah. 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 And, and then and, and then phantasmal still gets countered. Okay. It's fine. It's it is great. I am all on board. You're good. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna pay two. You could 
try and you know, oh manage my, my reckless fire weaver. Want to do that? That affects everybody. Well, I'm okay well, with yeah, that. You have, you have to pay the two life before. Oh, I know. I know. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. I would. It's gonna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one of those. I'm interested to see where that would go. <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna keep digging. Pay two for dam. Pay four for dam. What? Pay two. Pay four. I can't overload it. Oh yeah. darn it! It's, it's an alternative. It's an alternative cost. cost. I mean, you could blow up his baleful strike so I can kill John. <laughs> He's right. Yeah, let's target the Baleful Strike. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm going to mana drain that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's, that's what I was waiting for. Two more. Yep. Like, I thought that was going to happen. And um, then that's got two more waiting for me. So I need that Strix to live. <laughs> Sacrifice the Bob for two. Oh, and or, yeah, it's then we're going to sacrifice a clue and draw a card. Is that the there it is. Sacrificed? I sacrifice the Bob and then the clue. So two sacks. So two oh, sacks. Okay. All right. We so got plenty of dice. So. And I will pay one life to play a Soul Ring. I will pay four life Holy to do a Phyrexian Metamorph. Copy. What do we think? It's gonna. Is it copy a creature or an artifact? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, uh, the answer to the question is it's going to copy a Cart Clan. I was like, you pull yeah. that one instead. <laughs> All right. And now I can just sacrifice two clues to draw cards now. I got any more dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw that to my hand. I'll sacrifice another two to draw. I have to sacrifice another two to draw this way. And you just did it again, so there's yep. five. <laughs> I'll keep those in reserve Thank for you. you. <laughs> um, instead of doing that, I'm going to tap the soul ring and sacrifice one to draw this one away. Oh, beautiful. Back to even numbers. Sacrifice the ancient den with the last clue. Oh, snap! Oh, man. Draw this away. Pay two life to play a Eidolon of Oblivion. Oh, and how many artifacts have come in? Reckless Fire Weaver triggers. None. Uh, one. One. Just uh, the idols come in? No, two. That's two. One, three. Two, three. Okay, so that's three damage to each opponent. Yeah. So we're going to attack with Will to Julian. On the attack, though, we'll create the Myriads, which then will create the four triggers there, though. For close. Damage. Damage. Okay, so you're... Damage. Damage. Taking four. Uh, yeah, I'm taking four. His listen. Do your I'll take are... four. I'll take four. All right, good boy. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, also, those uh, are those wills sacrificed technically, the copies. Uh, yeah, because they have to come in. And they Sweet. They the moment they come in, legend rule triggers and they leave. And then, are you gonna block? No, you're gonna take one. I'm gonna take one. Um, oh, I can then I can just activate you now to draw that away. I'm glad the Citadel is actually working from the guy where it didn't for four straight turns. Mm -hmm. Definitely doing this. Okay, I'm going to pay six. <laughs> Going to four. Playing Tezzeret, oh. Master of the Bridge. My man. I'm okay. going to plus two him. Tezzeret deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control and you gain X life. So you control how many? Ten. Did you count Citadel too? Oh, 11. Thank you. 11 to each of you and I gain 11. Yikes. Speaking of that, let's... Uh, this is turn five. <laughs> Let's play out chromatics here now for free. <laughs> well, it doesn't give artifacts. It's creatures and planeswalkers. Oh, is it creatures and planeswalkers? Yeah. Dang it. Oh, did you guys take four, though, from the Reckless Fire Weaver earlier when I created my clues? No, I don't believe we did. Okay, no. mm -hmm. so four for that. Pay two to play Wishclaw Talisman, and that's another life. Guess now is a good time to pay one. <laughs> Game life? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the other one. Two Enlightened Tutor. Citadel, holy cow. Oh, oh wait, do you have ten things you can sacrifice? Oh, hold on. If you do, you win for, from the Citadel's ability. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. Just, uh, Just do that. Oh, so yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have ten easy. Okay, Citadel for Clutch. Nice job. Right then. Well, who knew Will and Lucas worked so well together? Maybe we'll see some of that in Season 5? The artifact shenanigans was a little bit too much for the rest of Hawkins and for our players today. But uh, yeah, maybe next time they'll have a chance to shine. So what do you think of these theme type games? We have a lot of fun playing them, so we'll probably keep doing them as we can. But if you like them a lot, then maybe we'll do them a little bit more. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if there's another theme or like, you know, set of commanders that you want us to play. We probably will do it. If you're enjoying what we do here at Kingdoms, we'd love for you to join our community. You can do so over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You get access to our Discord where we have extra giveaways, deck help, looking for game channel, 
Uh, we have some extra, you know, CDH that we've been really doing on Saturday mornings, which has been going really cool, um, been, being led by Ben. So we've got a lot going on over there, and I think it would be worth your time if you like what we're doing and uh, you like cool stuff and people. So consider it. I'd love to see you there. A special thank you to our Samurai patrons, Chris Crowley, David Siraj, Dr. Birdseed, Jason Garner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Well, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.